Hey girls and guys, it's Sarah from Sai Let's Play, and we are back with another story on episodes. As you guys know, and as I've been telling you guys in the last few episodes of Glitch Girl, I promised you I would read Positively Princess. I just had to finish Glitch Girl. So here it is, the first episode of Positively Princess. So I read The Royal Baby quite a while ago, and you guys told me that this was apparently a continuation of it. So basically it says, remember that time it turned out you were secretly a princess? Well, get ready, girl, because eligible royals from around the world are lining up to marry you and have your baby. <laughs> That's a little strange. It's a little bit weird. <laughs> but before we get started, um, I did want to kind of explain to you guys, in case you guys do happen to see my eye, I do have it taped up right now um, because I do have Bell's palsy and my eyes have really been acting up lately so I have to have it taped up all day long. So if you see it, don't get freaked out or anything. I do have Bell's palsy. I don't know when it's gonna go away but it's here right now. So just please don't judge me. I would really appreciate it if you didn't. <laughs> so here we go. First episode of Positively Princess, here we go. All right, this is it. Tonight, I make the most important choice of my life. <gasps> Ooh, oh girl, your dress is flawless. <gasps> Would you like to change your look? Oh yes, I gotta change her look up a little bit. She's gotta look more uh, like me. <laughs> so here we go. So I made sure she's like a golden princess. She's got dark hair, dark eyebrows. I am in love with her makeup and everything else. So I think we are good to go. This is perfect. Are you happy with the way you look? Yes, I look amazing. <laughs> so here we go. Her Royal Highness Princess. Oh, oh, oh. Sida, of course. Yes. Princess Sida. <laughs> Everyone bow, please. Thank you. Royals from all around the world had come to the palace for my engagement ball, where I would finally decide who I wanted to marry. <gasps> They're all waiting in anticipation. But what no one knew was that I was pregnant, and my secret would change everything. But I'm getting ahead of myself, because my story starts far away from here. She's preggers? when a smexy stranger totally changed my life. Oh my gosh, Saida? From high school? It's been years! <laughs> yeah, um, hi Missy. You're a waitress now? At my birthday party? This must be so humiliating for you. To be a total nobody and serving someone as fabulous as me? Uh, okay, I know it's my job, but I'm feeling a little sassy today, so... Is it having a country club birthday party with all your dad's friends a little humiliating? Not at all. One of these silver foxes could be my future husband. So she's a gold digger. Mm-hmm. So, um, can I get you anything? Just make sure the very expensive champagne daddy got me is chilled and ready. I'll be taking my very first drink at 4.51, the exact moment I turn 21. Got it. Oh, and remember, you're just as invisible now as you were in high school. So stay out of the photos and out of my way. Oh, girl, I just want to snatch that wee off your head. Oh. oh, but I gotta stay calm, cool, and collected. Guess you saw who our fabulous host is. Missy Beaumont is anything but fab. Forget about her. Besides, she's not the only one turning 21 today. Happy birthday, bestie. Oh, Mia, you're so sweet. But we don't even know if it's my real birthday. Well, it's the day we met at foster home, and we've been sisters ever since. So cheers to my fave sister from another mister. Now chug before anyone sees us. <laughs> You're right. Could be as close as I'll ever get to having a real birthday party. Aww. All right. There you go, girl. <laughs> oh, is that the guy? That would be a travesty. So let me help you girls out. I don't like him already, to be honest. Wow, I like your accent. May, may I take your shirt, sir? Maybe later, if you're lucky. <laughs> right now, we gotta celebrate the birthday girl here. But this isn't my bir birthday party. <laughs> then let's make it your party. What do you mean? Missy is obviously a huge bully, and I don't like bullies. And I bet Missy would hate it if someone were to upstage her. And I know just the birthday girl to do it. 
You want me to steal Missy's thunder? How would I do that? Step one. We get you out of these clothes. Okay. Ooh, girl. Yes. I don't like her hair, though, but, you know, still cute. <laughs> Hot. You look like royalty in that dress. Oh my gosh, your hair! Plus, Missy is going to burst into furious flames when she finds out we raided her closet. <laughs> Are we sure this is a good idea? No, it's a great idea. This could be like any other day for you. Same old job, still taking stuff from the same high school bully, or it could be the day you decide who you really are, Sida. Wait, how do you know my name? Because I came all this way to find you. <gasps> Smexy stalker alert! I'm intrigued! Yeah, what do you mean to find me? You'll find out soon, I promise. But first, let's make sure this is your best birthday ever and put that little Missy Moo in her place. Are you ready to seize the moment, Sida? Um... <sighs> Okay, you know what? You're right. Let's do this. Good call. Let's show Missy who the real princess is today. Mm -hmm. Hello. I don't think we had the pleasure to meet. Not sure meeting someone as trashy as you is exactly a pleasure, but... Oh, oh, oh my gosh. Uh, The biting sense of humor and <laughs> smexy accent make me think you're not from around here. Definitely not. Well, in America... We have a thing called a birthday kiss. Nice try, but I'm here for someone else. <gasps> what? Is that Sida in my Sergio Faro dress? I'm sorry, do we even know each other? Avi, this is my party. You're the one working here. You seem very confused. This is Sida's party. It's her birthday. <gasps> oh! <laughs> so what about that birthday kiss? I'm your man. What did you have in mind? Keep it classy, tiger. <laughs> oh, we're making the bully so jealous right now, and I love it. What the heck? Sida stealing my thunder? Am I in the freaking Twilight Zone? I don't know what bizarro universe I entered here, Sida, but... May I have your attention, everyone? It's time for a very special birthday toast. Mm-mm-mm. <clears throat> Let's raise a glass of this extremely expensive champagne to our beautiful birthday girl, Sida. Oh, <laughs> thanks, Mia. Oh, I'm living right now. I truly deserve this. <sighs> oh, she's angry. Daddy, daddy, that awful waitress stole my birthday. Want to get out of here? I'll keep them busy. You two go and flirt. <laughs> Run. Don't forget the bottle. <laughs> they saw the bottle too! Oh my gosh. Oh, he's on his motorcycle? Okay. Really? Why are they not wearing helmets? Safety first, okay? Oh my gosh, the look on Missy's face. <gasps> Sorry, I got you fired. <laughs> don't be. I was miserable at that job anyway, but I don't even know your name yet. All I know is you crash parties and steal champagne. <laughs> That's all I am to you? <laughs> I just want to know more so what is it to tell hmm i'm dalton but i'm more interested in who you are me i'm a foster kid and a cater waitress no one's ever given me a second glance don't you ever feel like you're destined for something bigger what really matters to you sida hmm I don't know. I wish I could make a difference. How? I don't know. Maybe as a doctor or an artist. I want to do good and help people. To inspire them in some way. See, I knew it was a good idea to save you from Missy. You really didn't, really didn't like her, huh? You can judge a person by how they treat people. Especially people they have power over. I have someone like that in my life. And if I don't bow down to them, no way was I going to let her treat you like that. But why stick your neck out for me? Because you're not nobody, Sida. Like I said, you are exactly who I came to America to find. I still don't understand. You came here looking for me? Yes, you have a destiny, Sida. 
And I think deep down, you've always known it. Have you ever heard of the kingdom of Elandria? Huh? Whoa! It's a beautiful place. The people love their country and their queen. Jessica Dupress, the last in a line of monarchs who ruled for centuries, whose beloved daughter was meant to ascend the throne. But the Dupree's family had enemies. And 20 years ago, the young princess was stolen in the night. <gasps> Leaving Queen Jessica heartbroken and the kingdom with no heir and in danger of its worst enemy, the rival, Queen Craxis of the nearby kingdom of Malrovia. If the Dupree's line should ever end, an ancient treaty states that Craxis would claim the throne. But she's cold and uncaring, and she's a tyrant. Craxis will destroy Elandria and its people. <gasps> Wait, who's that? And now that Queen Jess has passed, Craxis will have the chance to seize the throne. Now bow to your new queen. You're the only person who can help stop it. Me? How? If the true princess ascends within 30 days, Craxis can be banished. It's you, Sida. You are the lost princess of Elandria. What? That's crazy. But it's true. You're the spitting image of Queen Jessica. Uh, why should I believe you? How do I know you're not lying? Maybe you used this story on all the girls? If you don't believe me, walk away. But I think some part of you knows it's all true. But now that you're royalty, you need to hold on to who you are. Don't let it change you, princess. You can help me? Promise you'll always call me Saida, not princess? That's against the rules. Something tells me you don't follow the rules, Dalton. No, Saida, I don't. Tomorrow, your whole life changes. But tonight, we can still be just you and me. No titles. You're not coming with me? I'll bring you to the palace. But forces may conspire to keep us apart. Which is why I don't want tonight to end. Spend the night with me? Just us? Alone under the stars? <gasps> ah! Okay. Only because I feel like this is going to be the one, the guy that she ends up in the long run and stuff. I feel like, go ahead. Spend the night with your hero. Definitely. If this is my last night as a normal girl, I want to spend it with you. Then let's finish this bottle and really get to know each other. How? Look at the sunset over the sea. Aww, look how cute they look. Just looking at the sunset together. Okay, I got a theory. <gasps> Dalton, why didn't you just tell me the truth about who I was right away? I wanted to get to know you first. To make sure you weren't happy in your life. Hard to imagine being too happy to want to be a princess. The responsibilities of being a royal are pretty huge. It's not for everyone. That's why I want this time to show you who I really am and to see who you are before the world takes over. I don't think being a princess is going to change me. I hope not. Because I like you, Saida. Just the way you are. Ah! I like you too, Dalton. A lot. Oh, I ship them. Get on a boat. Ship them away together, please. And a shooting star. Oh, look at them too. Now she's at the palace though. The next day I arrived in my new home, the Royal Palace of Elandria. Look at this place. It's beautiful. But I wasn't alone. I had my best friend with me. <laughs> and no way were we ready for what was gonna happen next sweet baby stormy this place is fire it's bigger than the kim Ye's house Sida, you're richer than kim Ye. i called ahead sir asher should be here to meet you any minute sir Sida has her own personal night just how sure are we that there weren't two long lost princesses of elandria <laughs> unfortunately this is where i say goodbye <gasps> Try not to miss me too much. Mm. Kiss him on the cheek. Wait. Oh, 
to remember me. Welcome home, Saida. Remember, don't let them change who you are. <laughs> Princess, it's truly you! The resemblance to your mother is unmistakable! Elandria is saved! Whoa, who knew knights could be so nerd hot? <laughs> I'm Sir Asher, Chief Advisor to the Royal Family. It is my privilege to serve you, your highness, and to make the acquaintances of your lady-in-waiting. Lady? Mia, Lady Mia. Oh my gosh, yes, I'm a lady. Uh, that there could be no doubt. Um, do you guys need a sec? I'm picking up some major crush vibes. Uh, uh, uh forgive me, but we must get you to the Royal Garden immediately. Your suitors are waiting. Suitors? Didn't Dante tell you about the Alandra royal rules? He told me I have to take the throne in 30 days or Queen Craxus steals my country. You have to do more than ascend to the throne. You must be married to another royal before the coronation. What? You expect me to fall in love and get married in less than a month? That's why I've assembled the world's most eligible royals in the garden. We must begin your courtship right away. Dressed like this? We're in our travel sweats. If that is about the, to be Alandria Bachelorette, then this queen needs to look Chastin level snatch stat. I don't know what that is, but okay. While I only understand about half of those words <laughs> that just came out of your mouth, I think I may have exactly the solution. Oh my gosh. My closet is a mall. And Elandria top stylists have already chosen two looks for your royal introduction. Naturally, they're modeled after the most trend-setting royals in the world today. <gasps> you don't mean... Duchess Kate? And Meghan Markle? Precisely. The choice of which style you'd like to embody is yours. So which would you like to try on first? Um... Kate, please. Let's see. <gasps> well, how do I look? In that dress, it's clear that you truly are one and only lost lost princess of Elandria. Classic elegance never falls out of style and you are dripping in it. <gasps> mm. Okay, let's try Megan. I love Kate's dress though. Mm. Very sophisticated. You truly are a modern royal for a modern time. Girl, that Marco Sparkle is stunting. Okay, we are definitely going to go with Kate. I just think it looks a lot, you know... <sighs> classier so mm -hmm. we're gonna go with kate and the red on her skin tone ah, amazing okay look at that dress it's a beautiful royal nobles and distinguished members of the press may i introduce her royal highness the princess saida the rightful heir to the kingdom of elandria just okay address your people it's so good to be home i can't wait to meet you all Aww, look at all of them. Now, if you follow me, I'll introduce you to your first suitor. Okay, who is he? What's his name? Princess Saida, may I introduce you to the Prince Elijah Dale of Sindara? Okay, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna marry no one if I can't pronounce their name or the place where they're from. Princess Saida, I have no doubt you'll honor your family as the next great ruler of the majestic realm. Would you allow me to escort you through the garden? Of course. Okay, let's find out some information about you. Forgive the nobles for their stares. You look so stunning and sophisticated in Elandria's couture. Sir Asher said this look was very in among the royal circle. You've made it your own. None of us can take our eyes off of you. Then again, it isn't every day a princess returns to her kingdom or finds out that she has to marry someone she just met to save it. You must feel quite overwhelmed. I guess I'm just shocked. I always thought I'd marry for love. There should be no exception. Love is the most important thing in life. With love, you can accomplish anything. <laughs> you sound like someone who knows a lot about love. That's because I've been in love before. Her name was Princess Emma. We were betrothed, but she passed away some time ago. <gasps> I'm so sorry, Elijah. I promise I don't usually talk about this on dates. My intention is the courtships are true. I've always tried to live life to the fullest. But I wouldn't be honest if I didn't admit I have a broken heart. Mm, I, we're new friends, Elijah, and I want to help you realize 
you can love again. You're clearly a generous soul. Thank you, princess. You'll see it's a great privilege to serve the people as their monarch. Just remember, the choice of who to share your life with must be one made with your heart alone, not out of duty. I know. To be honest, this marriage rule seems kind of silly and old school. Then get on the throne and change it. Who was that? Oh! When you're queen, you can do anything you want. Even abolish that rule. And the king or queen you choose to marry will honor your decision. Wow, great point. There's plenty more where that came from. We're gonna introduce me, Elijah. <laughs> of course, Princess Saida, this is the prince. This is Princess Jada Okoye of Nadal. She's also here to court you. Or to be your best friend. <laughs> mm, we can see how it goes. Oh my gosh. I'm so relieved to meet someone who can relate to what am I going through? You know, kind of like girl to girl. We have to stick together. So you really think I can break tradition once I'm queen? If you decide it's right. Ooh, she's already over here breaking rules. Women are finally taking their rightful place in the world. This is our time, princess. Together, you and me, we could really make a difference and have a blast doing it. Mm-hmm. Princess, I'm so glad you met your suitors. That's not all of them, Ash. Oh. Oh! <gasps> Oh my gosh! I knew you couldn't leave after everything we've been through. It's good to see you too, Saida. But what are you doing here? I'm here to court you. What? That's preposterous. <gasps> Why do I think that he's part of the other kingdom? The one, the queen. Whatever, the evil queen. Because he has the dark hair like her. <gasps> okay, okay, okay. Calm down, calm down. Sultan, you don't understand. I can only marry another royal. Which is why it's the first time I'm stoked to be a prince. What? Twist! I gotta insta this! It's true, Saida. I'm a royal. Just don't hold it against me. You should address her as princess. Not the deal we made, Prince Golden Boy. This doesn't make sense. Dalton can't court the princess. He's... Super cool and handsome, I agree. And once we get married, you'll be able to take the throne for good. A travesty I will never allow to happen. <gasps> I told you! <gasps> I literally just got goosebumps! Queen Craxis? What are you doing here? Craxis! Wait, she's a bad guy, right? The one who wants to steal the kingdom? You know, and steal the land? I had to see for myself if the rumors were true. The famous lost princess of Elandria returns to the kingdom her family stole from mine centuries ago? That's a matter of opinion. Most historians would disagree with that. Well, you certainly don't look like royalty. More like a common American caterer playing dress up in a land she knows nothing about. <sighs> Perhaps you should return to serving shrimp balls and box merlot before you get hurt. Oh! I'm going to be respectful. Queen Craxis, I'm sorry to disappoint you, but I'm not ashamed of where I grew up because my experience living among the people will make me a better ruler than you could ever be. Ooh! The princess speaks with passion. Passion shall use to vanquish you, Queen Craxis. <gasps> or as we say in the doll, girl, bye. <laughs> They're right. It's time for you to go. Naive child. You're surrounded by secrets that could destroy you. Saida, please, come away with me right now. Why, Dalton? Or don't you want the pretend princess to know you're my son? <gasps> I knew it! I told you! Can Dalton be trusted? Will you be able to take the throne? Keep playing to find out. I knew it! Only because... When I saw the hair, when he said he, when he tried to be all secretive about who he was and the fact he had the dark hair, it kind of made it obvious who he was. And then once I saw him there, I was like, yeah, for sure he has to be like some kind of family member. Now, here's how I think the story is going to play out. I feel like she's going to end up with Dalton. I feel like Dalton is 
I feel like there is going to be a lot of secrets and a lot of lies, but I think at the heart of it, Dalton is the only good one. He's the one to, who went to America to look for her. So it only makes sense that maybe he wants to make a difference. I don't know. We're going to have to wait and see. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think is going to happen next. And don't forget, I upload episodes every Tuesday. So I hope you guys had fun watching. I hope you guys are excited for this story, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!